going on. And the timing was very bad for us. We did the show at a time when people were going through a lot. And they cannot afford to go for entertainment. And we, re we just realized in the last minute it was wrong. But we just had to let it go and we say, you know what? We're going to do it again. Yeah. That was towards the end of 2018. We said, let's do it. We'll do it at least at the beginning of maybe in 2019. And of course, hello guys. Welcome to Alvin Tonward Media. And of course, we are your number one online TV show. And today it's another day with this great gentleman here alongside me, Ali Joma Mabi. So it's a day to inspire you. If you're not part of us, please subscribe and support us. Be a part of us and share with us the other episodes. Welcome, my brother. Thank you, my brother. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. And today you being here is a pleasure because you have been a big demand from our fans. So that's why we have traveled all this long distance from Kenya to here to meet you. Yeah, it's really nice. Uh, I really appreciate that. Yeah. And the fact that you're doing this for the industry. Uh, Indeed. It's a good thing, you know. Yeah. We appreciate. We appreciate your time with the, with the management and the, and the humility you showed us. It's really good. And guys, we are at Dice Lounge in Munonio. So please, anytime in your weekend, you want to be enjoying yourself, you can visit them so that you can also have a cool time with them. Um, maybe you're going to dive into our conversation. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about your music. The Hali Joma. I heard also people calling you Ali Kombo, a name that I've never heard. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get that name from? Um, well. Or is it a family name? No, no, it's not a family name. Okay. You know, it's, it's been quite a journey. Uh, in fact, I was not Ali Joma. I had, I had a name before. What is that? Name? <laughs> um, you see, it's like you know, back in the days, um, if you didn't have names that connect with uh, the, 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 the black Americans, R and B singers, and so on, it's like you're not in this industry. <laughs> you seem yeah. like a bleacher. Yeah, yeah, it seems uh, like you're not doing it. So, um, so then I was given the name Combo. No, 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 no. They yeah. call me Chris Mickey. <laughs> Hey, I'll Chris tell you. Yeah, but <laughs> then, as time goes by, I I also came to understand the uh, the way of branding. Yes. And how name is Contribute very important. To your for, brand. Contributes a lot to a brand. Yeah. Uh, you need something that you can relate to. Indeed. At least, yeah, someone can give a reference, you know, about that. So I. I thought of changing the names, but I was still in school, so uh, I wasn't thinking so much about, about music. It, yeah. yeah, I was doing music, but I wasn't so serious about You're not it. Not so much focused. Yeah, in fact, my family didn't know I was doing music. Wow. Yeah. So, in 2014, or 2013 actually, mm. I I came up with the Alijoma name. Alijoma. It's, it's an acronym from my real name. Okay. Alier John Mabot. Alier. John. Sol. John. John. Magot. Magot. That's a oh, John. Oh, wow. okay, okay. I got it now. So it's an acronym. Okay. I yeah, just make sure that I, I make my names uh, like, you know, I just shorten them yeah, and sure. at least can be something. Okay. You, you know, you may not even think it's a nickname. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So uh, I've been in the industry for more than a decade now. Okay. And uh, it hasn't been a simple journey. Man, we appreciate. Yes, I'm, your, I'm your fan from the word go, so I've been following you. I know all the steps that you have been going. Yeah. And maybe what I didn't know are the challenges, because that's always in, uh, invisible well, from us. Well, um, in every journey there must be challenges, and if there are no challenges, you definitely not make it. Sure. So, um, our first thing was, you know, being accepted as an artist in our society, in our community, it's not that easy. Indeed. Uh, artists are believed to be criminals, yeah. spoiled kids, a, a gangs, kid who is exposed to drugs, exposed to, you know, uh, yeah. substances. So it's, it wasn't an easy one, but at least with my family, it wasn't that hard. Okay. Um, 
I remember I I went to Bo to visit my mom and my siblings and yeah. Then I I talked about it. I was like, that was two eleven. Yes. Two eleven. Uh, I had to make it clear to my family that I was actually doing music, music and yeah. I didn't want them to find out, you know, from somewhere without me telling them. So I had to just tell them. They yeah. were not happy about it at first, but yeah, when they checked the kind of music I was doing, they they were okay with it. And so the the first song that uh, gave me the the, uh, the spotlight. Go ahead, yeah, the spotlight. It's a uh, a song I dedicated to my own mom, Interlake Mama. Mm-hmm. That was in 2013. So now people pick you up. People pick up from there, and now uh, I think they started listening to my music. You know, with different perspective. Yeah. They were not thinking I'm maybe one of those kids. You know, we do music for fame. Or you doing music for girls or you no know, like for women to love you and stuff they they notice like my music has a cause yeah. and, uh, and it's a good one yeah so it's really been there's been a lot of challenges but uh hallelujah hallelujah we are here <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, actually it's yeah. a really a great journey yeah. that we witnessed from our brother a brother like you last year you were in australia yeah yeah, but we never get a chance maybe to discuss about the journey and uh, maybe the reception from Australia and how things went there. Yeah, maybe you can tell us a little bit because we know it was a, a good one. Yeah, yeah. And so the clips and you know, uh, my tour to Australia has been one of those that I really fought so hard to make sure it happened. It took me so many years. Mm. Uh, I remember in 2016, two we, we were invited by a promoter to, to go and perform in Australia, me and MCJ. Mm. We launched our visa and it didn't work. Okay. We were not rejected, but just didn't work. <laughs> we, like, we got out of the time, you know, we're supposed to be in December. Yeah. People are almost going for Christmas and there's no any reason from the the migration. Oh, okay. So we had to withdraw the visa and stay for another year. 2017 we tried, we were rejected. Uh, 18 we rejected again. 19 we rejected. So you 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 are keeping praising every time. So yeah, yeah. and people really need me to come there, but I wasn't getting the visa. Yeah. And I'll tell you this: I was submitting the same very very documents. Until in 2022, I submitted the same document. What were the problems? So uh, I came to realize that um, there were a lot of South Sudanese that were causing a lot of problems for us. You know, we go under uh, a certain type of visa. Okay. And it's a temporary work visa. And see, someone will go to Australia and not come back. Oh. It affects oh. the rest of us who want to go there. Yes. yes. People think we have the same people plan. go people try to go for visiting and then they yes, don't come back. Yes. So it really affected me mm-hmm. until uh, I started working out at the South Sudanese community. Because all mm-hmm. this time it was the South Sudanese that were trying to take me there. Okay. And it wasn't happening and I felt like maybe these are South Sudanese bringing South Sudanese. Yes. It, it's a little bit Complicated. Complicated. Right? So let me try other ways. Yes, you should try other ways. other ways. Yeah. So uh, I spoke to this Nigerian guy. He's a, he's a promoter. Mm. And uh, yeah, we worked on the visa. We signed the contract. Everything went good. And and it yeah, was okay. It was a successful concert. Wow. It was a successful tour. I went <laughs> there. I, I did my shows. They were successful. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Australia was really nice. I would say it's. It's one of the, the best tours I've ever had. Because that very year I was touring. I went to I went to Khartoum, I went to Egypt, yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to Kenya, I we came to, to Kampala here. Yeah. Kampala. Yeah, and then now to Australia. So that year I was touring and I'm actually touring this year as well. So ah, you are another one. I'm year. on a tour now, so because uh, the one I just did in Kampala is uh, is my first concert. That is the beginning of That's the, the tour. beginning of the tour. You have so, the rest where? Uh, I'll have Cairo, uh, we'll have uh, India, Ethiopia. Uh, wow, that's a big one, man. I'll also go to Australia. Back, you go I'll back go to back Australia. I'll go back to Australia, yeah, this year. Okay. 
hey success so, so yeah money too so success. that show was successful it was beautiful it was fun people really supported me the reception was just so good i was not only received by just my people where i come from no they were music lovers it was music lovers and there was a lot of things going on in the community there was so much death in the community and uh, the people still made sure the government supported me so uh that's that kind of support and love you know it and was real you it feel was, it yeah i felt it, it was real you know? yeah yeah and that's wonderful now let us come to your music you have been doing all this music was there any hardship somewhere that might have maybe hinders your progress and maybe you think through it and made it yes you know i i'm a versatile artist yes and uh, one thing i know for sure about music is that it changes every day and it's the fans that alter everything yes this is the one listen to slow music today you start being jumping music don't no, no, listen to it <laughs> you will get them on the other side yeah so <laughs> As an artist, you really need to be so smart about the market. You, you need, need to, to be know studying what, them. Yeah, you need to know what the market needs. Indeed. So, and there's a time that I felt I was affected by that. Uh, that was 2018. Yes. Because remember, the first song that made me is uh, Internet Mama. Yes. It made me very big. Yeah. Mothers loved it. Everyone loved the song. But then... I switch very fast from there. I switch from there to a different kind of music which did really work for me. Uh it gave me the the platform I became famous. I became more famous. Yeah. But it wasn't the right music for me because it was making me famous by it was fading away at the same time. Yes. I'm so famous but I'm fading away because I'm not getting bookings from people because people find my music in the club why do you have to book me there is there's no substance in the music yeah it only makes you to dance so why so this you, one was for the street the why, street yes, kind of music yes why do you have to invite me to the club you can just go drink and have fun you know they will yeah. play breaket they will play saluk and they will play karatora and everything yes. you have fun and go back home <laughs> so it wasn't benefiting me as an artist and as I'm someone artist, who needs yeah. to grow you know so i i had to change and it was not easy it took me almost a year i was yeah. not doing music i had to figure out the kind of music that i should do i had to travel to bore i had to change locations and places i needed to have new ideas indeed and this is where now i changed my music to the kind of music i'm doing now Yeah. So the transition was not and it has really worked. It was not easy. You know, just chipped to you from from being that struggling it wasn't an easy one. one. It wasn't an easy one. Yeah. Yeah, because what was bothering me a lot is why is your music playing in the whole country? You have your music playing in every club. Everyone but, loves it, but you cannot afford to buy a bicycle. What is it? What is that? So you have to really think because You have to know the it, kind it, of music it, it, it that is business. going to bring yeah, in the business, business you want. So yeah. So there's no way I'll be making people happy but I'm not happy. You're not benefiting at yeah, all. You have to balance it, you know. Yeah. 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 That's so great. there was that but at least yeah, I got out of it. I think I'm happy with the kind of music I'm doing now because it yeah. connects me with people spiritually. A lot of people. It connects me with people. You know there's another guy, just a guy who when I was coming here, actually I I had a group of individuals that we worked together. Mm. Then I told them that I'm going to interview Aljoma and we are planning for that. Oh, they told me that guy is a real musician. Even if you don't understand Tom Jen, mm. that guy will sing for you and you will feel it deep in your heart. Yeah. You see? And that is the kind of lyrics that you want. Huh? That's the kind of genre that will heal. You know music wants Yeah. You saw you saw us the other day we were jumping yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> at the auditorium. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that we are a yeah. you, but it's really working. Yeah. yeah. So have you ever got to a point whereby you get a rejection from your fans? Maybe your show ever flopped. 
Uh, I will not say. Or maybe you get a certain section of people saying, "I know this guy. You don't want him. You feel it like people are shouting at you." See, oh, um, I, I, I've never been to uh, a very serious situation. Okay. Um, mm. like that, uh, like people rejecting my music or, or my personality. Yes. Uh, I've never been to that, but you see. Not everybody will always like what you do, and I consider that a lot. Yes, I've a there are people that love my music. My music connects with them spiritually or in whatever way. There are those that will not also agree with whatever I do, and it's part of life. Yes, but I've never been to such a rejection whereby oh Ali, we don't really this. I remember in 2018, I I did a show. You remember when I said when I was transiting? Yes. I I made a concert here in Kampala. In Kampala. But I will not say it is a rejection. There was so much going on in the community. There was a lot of division going on in the community. People were not settled. People were not settled. There was just too much going on. And the timing was very bad for us. We did the show at a time when people were going through a lot. And they cannot afford to go for entertainment. And we, re- we just realized in the last minute it was wrong. But we just had to let it go and we say, you know what, we're going to do it again. Yeah. That was towards the end of 2018. We said, let's do it at least at the beginning of maybe in 2019 and of course things came back to normal and when we did another one and they told me it was, it was so well was there yeah in fact even people came and even start having speeches and like you know Ali, we could not come to an event in 2018 yeah there are people we didn't even want to see like people don't want to see themselves <laughs> like this is there was just so much going there was, there was and, and uh, i somehow felt like it was about me until i realized it wasn't it wasn't you. It wasn't about me. It, yeah. it, it was like a, 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 a general problem. Yeah. Everybody was going through that. Yeah. So I don't. I don't really think I've been to any kind of rejection in such. No. Okay. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great, man. Yeah. That's great, and you're doing really perfect. Now, we are, there was a night that you went in before the issue between you and uh, John Fop. Mm. Fop. Mm. It was actually after that. And then there's something that you said about uh, MC Ghetto. Mm. Yeah. Is he under is he working with you as a friend or is he or is he under tablet? Is it? Yeah, um you see MC first of all MC is not just my friend, MC is my nephew. Okay. And uh, me and him will come a long way. Um I got to be staying together with MC from 215 until then. It's just been very close. So um MC is not signed under top left, but he always worked with me as a best friend and as my nephew. We've always been working like that since day one. Uh, so I uh, he's not under top left, but inshallah with time. He might be. He might be part of uh, oh, yeah. yeah, because, um, you know, when I told you about uh, the transition that I did in 2018, the transition I did in 2018 has also affected something. Because you know the kind of music I was doing? It used to involve MC Ghetto a lot. Yeah. Yeah? Yes. But when I changed the kind of music I was doing, it became it, 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 it became really, left out it was totally a different thing from, but from what he knew yeah? yes but i've always made sure that i feature him in every, every album i do there's <laughs> well, no thing that. he will ever miss out even if i know that's the kind of music that cannot he doesn't like it doesn't take me anywhere yeah i would have to do it he just to make sure that. i keep him relevant yeah, but you see, people will always talk. Oh, there's this and there's that, you know? Yeah. Things change, you know? He's my cousin. You may not see him with me every day because 
we somehow have different lives. Yes. I am a married person and a family guy. We were staying in Kenya together and I moved to South Sudan to stay with my family. You get it? Yes. And it was hard now for me to start living the life I was living. So it became hard for people to start seeing me with MC every now and then. But we were still together. The work is the same. The work is the same. Nothing changed. Nothing has really changed. It's just the kind of changes that I've, that I made. You made individually. Individually. And yeah. there are at least something that has affected in the way we were working or the way we were together. Yeah. I've got married. I became a family guy. It means that there are times <laughs> I, may not not be, there, yeah. I may not be out there. Yeah. I also changed the kind of music I'm doing. So in most cases, it doesn't involve MC. Yeah. That's it. It's really hard. Yeah. 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 Anyway, my brother, that's all that we wanted to discuss with you, mm. and we appreciate your time. Yeah. Thank you so much. The only thing that I would request right now, if there's anything that you can tell our fans. The Halvin 211 media fan and the Halijomo Mabin fan. Um, <laughs> and it's a, it's, a, it's a pleasure to be here, yeah? Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's an honor, you know, travel all the way from Kenya to Uganda, you know, yeah. just to, to have this with me. Uh, I, I, I see that something very big and important is not just for me. Sure. It, it's for the industry. Sure. Um, I know in the past two years, Things like this were not happening. We are not there. And uh, this only shows that there is growth in the industry. And thank you so much for choosing to do this. It's not, it's not easy. Yeah. You know, it's thank not you. easy. Thank so uh, all I want to say to my lovely fans and the fans of Albin Two and One is that um, support what you think is positive and will help the industry or will help South Sudan as a nation. You yes. know, uh, we are not perfect. Uh, at times we, we get emotional. We say things that we shouldn't have said. Indeed. But um, we need you to focus on the positivity. Um, uh, let's promote love and let's work together. So support South Sudan music because if you support a legitimate music, you are supporting South that Sudan South music. Sudan. Yeah. And if you support Alvin 211, it means that you are supporting the whole of South Sudan industry, the whole entertainment industry. So thank you so much. And yeah, God bless you. God bless you. Nice time. Yeah. Thank you, my brother. Thank you.